Hey guys, I'm KDH here, and welcome back to the Super Mario RPG Restricted Weapon No Death Run. We're still on the sunken ship, and we've just beaten King Calamari. And so we're going back to the Salaman, who has two dialogue uh, upon um, us get providing the correct password. Get put! Your password is correct! So yeah. Oh, and I have to notice just now that the name of the business provider is listed right above the business provider's dialogue, so yeah, that's interesting. I'm actually going to buy a couple of mid mushrooms, which recovers 88 speed to the mm, amount you can carry 10. We're buying the mid mushrooms for security purposes, so we shouldn't need them per se, but you never know. I mean, it's Especially since Mallow has HP rate anyway, so yeah. I should also go over a couple of other item types that we collected along the way while I'm at it. Max Mushroom. <laughs> Recovers all HP. Amount you can carry 10. And Royal Syrup. Recovers all HP. Amount you can carry 10. Royal Syrups are actually rare, but they are they become farmable later on. Otherwise, you'll never be able to buy. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll never be able to buy Royal Syrups at the kind of sh shop. So, yeah. Moving on. Through King Calamari's now empty chamber. We're going to go through the bottom door first. Yeah. Bill's coming out of a cannon. In the original, we could hit the bullet bill from below, from the barrel, but no such luck. We're stuck. We can only do it from these... from these new boxes, and for the second level. It makes hitting the... that bullet bill in particular touchy. Uh, yeah, try as we might, we can no longer hit the bullet bills from, from, from these barrels, so yeah. We actually have to deal with the bullet bills naturally. Pass him that way without getting another fight with him. And you might know that I'm collecting the coin from these treasure boxes. It actually really. I didn't do that in the original version because of a reason that it's no longer a problem in the in the remaster. I don't get to that soon enough. For now, some trick platforming with the Mario Doppelganger. Get this hidden treasure to just cook a cola. <coughs> Yeah, the Mario Apple Kinger cannot walk and mm, cannot move and jump simultaneously. <laughs> we can actually talk to him, but it's a luck bite. Unless you want to deal with a creeper encounter, because that Mario Apple Kinger is a creeper in disguise. So, yeah. Give me drive home. I should provide my character stats real quick. You might be wondering why I'm doing that. Because as soon as we open this treasure chest, ah, it's a trap. We have the what? Oh, or originally called Hide On. Oh, I'm actually going to call him Hide On after his original name. The what? Oh, has 110 physical attack, which, combined with an unblockable Carnicus, is the reason why I didn't deal with him in the original right away. Weakness, jump, 
He's also immune to the classic elemental trio in all debuffs, so yeah. We'd have to use Super Jump on him, but I have Super Jump banned in the tone. Hey, if we don't, right? You're thinking about running away, right? Right? <laughs> and in case you're wondering what's going on with the. Uh oh. Yeah, I. Uh oh! Actually, counter attacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and. If Wow was isolated, he calls up on poor Mini Goomba. Please, no. Anything but Mini Goomba, it will just do nothing but this and regularly attack him, guys. Then we can easily block it and push. Brad Please, anything but that. Anything but the easy block for Jane. I'm sorry. I cannot take these things seriously at all. I mean, we're already at 18, and... To me, humans practically provide such easy, easy... <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, or uh, high on actually counter attacks. Uh, <coughs> every time we r use regular attacks upon him, and he can actually counter attack with Karnakid as well. I should also note that Karnakid was originally blockable, originally unblockable. So yeah, that was fun to deal with. 110 physical attack Karnakid, that was unblockable. And that's not the end of Connicate and Sinanic either. Oh no. Because Hold on has another nasty trick up his sleeve. And Will O Wisp is not it, although Will O Wisp would would have contributed in the original, you'll see why. Remember that Will Wisp was not blockable in the original. Neither was the play zone for that matter. Okay, where? Oh, and be especially mindful of your AP when attacking high arms because, yeah. Otherwise, things can get very nasty very fast. And if you're wondering how to block it and hide on to regular attack, it, it, it's when you block it when its mouth closes for the bite, for the actual bite. I should eat the remaining you real quick, Bowser. He's insisting on using Will with. Okay. Yeah, I'm not risking it. I'll take you real quick, Mini Goomba. Is it 
come in micro packages. <laughs> Straight to the point. I should mention that Mini Goomba was originally known as Goombat, and uh, she was. Uh, she actually had her topic meant to be me carry big stick, which. Uh, and I should talk about how the Kumbat as a Japanese topic that was, well, interesting, shall we say. Of course, if you want to really know, please look it up. I really want to know. I'd rather not get into specifics, but the me carry big dick thing was still fitting that involved thing. Yeah, I think I'm fitting that. Now. Oh, and here's Static E! Static E is particularly nasty because that, because it has 72 total magic attack with high defense, 60 magic attack, and just gosh! It can easily combine with a kind of kid that can kill a character from a, uh, from a high enough amount of health. <laughs> and the worst part is Static E, it costs only 4 XP, so yeah, that's fun. Even here in the remaster, we're... But at least here in the remaster, both Blinkstone and Willow Wizard are blocked. I'm being wary in general because this Oh, and let's topic you again, real. Just to make sure that we got your topic message. I think I just got you. You're pretty young, eh? You're thinking about running away, right? Of course, you attack my house. This rate, he'll probably run out of his feet. Oh, it's another static E. But it's just as well. Mario and Bowser were depending on their That's not perfectly fine. There we go. Another static E, that's fun. Oh wow. You hit Bowser hard enough. Bowser, you need healing. Pronto. Sweet front timing. Yeah, look at how much damage Mal was still taking from that static heat. Gosh. And it is from a 4 FP spell. Willy, Willy Whip costs 8 FP and Plague Drone costs 6 if you're wondering. Of course, and, Oh wow, and the Mini Goombas were taken out by the physical attack AoE. So, yeah, that's convenient. Especially since I'm now waste another turn in, in bringing out more Mini Goombas. So yeah, the physical attack AOE is being helpful. Because it can quote unquote stun hide on. Static heat. Again. Oh wow, it's Miss Mallow. Okay. Give Miss Mallow there, buddy. Well, 
Uh oh, Epi, it's gone. So we can't use Willy Wisp Willy Wisp anymore, so. I'm still doing an emergency heal in case of, I don't get cheeky with the static heal. And that's the big thing about this fight. Is that this fight can take long enough, so. Hyman is still getting his own part, and let's make this clear because. I'm still doing safety heals because Static E is a... Oh my goodness. What was my chain there? Uh, I guess I'll find out in, in reviewing the footage. But I know... I can be sure it was one, over 100. Because seriously, Doombo's attacks are easy to block. Hyman's attacks are thankfully not too bad to block. It. Something that could be what was it? Something that could deal non-elemental single target damage. Other than Geno team, because that's on Geno. My only question is, why didn't Sleepy Dime deal damage? Well, the obvious answer would be both design. I mean, that got changed up in Super Mario RPG Revolution to, to, to deal damage, and I believe it has a tumble in it. Because Sleepy Time, I'm pretty sure it's only mm, timing bonus was hitting all enemies. Correct me if I'm wrong, I mean. Because the safety badge will prevent mute, scarecrow, fear, mushroom, sleep, and poison. Yeah, that's all of the debuffs. It provides the same stat boost as the fearless pin as well. So, yeah, I'm equipping it on Mallow right away. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can see how long that belt takes. If only we had a vessel that. It focused damage that was non elemental. <laughs> I wouldn't even care if it cost it 12 FP. As long as it helped it for every damage, because I should mention that I don't actually have only 30 magic defense. Mm -mm. And his physical defense, for reference, was 90, so that's why ba even Bowser was, mm -mm. was scrambling to deal damage. So. Yeah. Yeah. This would have looked like a jump for Aquaman, undoubtedly. Oh, that dry bones wants to be cheeky. The dry bones is actually. Mm, the dry bones I'm trying to get past is actually guarding at the orb. Here we go. This room just has a prop coin, but hey, check a Rooney. There we go. Oh, right. Oh, and 
Upon refreshing the screen, Hyung's treasure chest refills with some money. Oh, and I should mention, we have 1,004 coins now. So yeah, we don't have to worry about the 999 coin cap. The cap is now 9,999, so yeah. We can actually work with quadruple digits. <laughs> Coins and at any given time. So yay for that! Oh, and that should have now has. That should have just has 100 coins to provide it. It will not be ill upon refreshing the screen now, but uh. Yeah. Zacharini again. Oh, and in case you're wondering. Oh, wait. Actually. I want to do one more thing before calling it a part. Bye bye, chain! There we go. So, yeah. Well, that's dealt with, and we can go ahead and collect this field mushroom. So we made some more headway through the sunken ship by beating up bosses that we saved, or many bosses uh, we saved for later. And I would have saved him for even later if I had banned Super Jump in the original. But yeah. So next time we're going to go deeper into the sunken ship. So until then, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day. MKDH out.